Hey guys, today is my jury day for my recital, so I'm going to have to play for the string faculty tonight, and they'll either pass or fail me for my recital, so, um, yeah, I thought I'd show you along my day today and how I, like, prepare for a performance, but right now I am taking Harry, my boyfriend, to get his COVID vaccine. First so one. exciting. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know what kind he's gonna get yet. Yeah, he probably either. won't know until he gets until in there. my arm. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, his appointment is soon, so we're just waiting in the car. Okay. I love locked you. In. Love you too. <laughs> Thanks. Beat people up if they're not wearing a mask. I will. Okay. Bye. Okay, so this is my first time car vlogging, and I feel really weird about it. So, um, before we went here, we stopped at Starbucks, the drive-thru, um, just so I could get my favorite drink. It's a double chocolatey chip frappuccino because I don't drink coffee. But it's so good. It's basically just like a chocolate milkshake with chocolate chips in it. But, um, I can't even remember the last time I got Starbucks. Like, oh, oh no. Oh no, camera lens. Oh no. Oh no, camera lens in my seatbelt holder. Oh no. Ow. Fingers. I need my fingers today. Phone. Okay. Saved it. I can't even remember the last time I got Starbucks. Um, must have been before the pandemic, like a while back. Um, so I figured I like to treat myself on jury days specifically. So, um, you know, why not just get some Starbucks, and enjoy myself. So if you don't know what a jury is, um, at least, you know, in the music world, if you're a music student at the end of each semester, basically, it depends on your school and the requirements and everything, but um, typically, for undergrad at least, I had to do a jury every at the end of every semester except for the ones where I did a recital. So a jury is where you just play pieces for the faculty on your instruments. I'm gonna put my glasses on so you can actually like see my eyes even though I'm not wearing makeup. Okay. <laughs> So for undergrad, um, every semester that I didn't have a recital, I would, you know, play the pieces that I'd been working on that semester. It's like a little performance for, for me, the string faculty, or, um, you know, if you play tuba, like the brass faculty, um, usually three or four different teachers, and they, they grade you um, and give you comments on what you can do better, how you can improve and everything. Now in grad school, at the school that I go to now, I only have to do juries um, to be able to perform my recital, <laughs> so it's actually, the premise is a lot different. I don't have to do any kind of jury on semesters where I don't do a recital. So my jury today is a recital jury, and I have to play like excerpts from my recital repertoire. So um, I have everything ready today, and then they'll just ask to hear certain pieces, and then they'll stop me when it's good, um, it lasts like 20 to 25 minutes, and then they'll either pass or fail me. if. I pass, then my recital can go on as planned, and then if I fail, then um, I just have to schedule another jury, try again, um, and if my recital would have to be postponed, then it would have to be postponed, but um, it should be fine. They hardly ever fail anyone, from what I know, um, and I passed just fine last year or two, so, you know, it's just for them to say, like, yeah, you're good to go for your recital. So, um, that's all it is, but it is the most kind of anxiety-inducing performance I've had to do since the pandemic because I haven't had to perform live very much. Um, basically all of my performances have been recorded. This is like one of the only live performances I've had to do other than like studio class and lessons, um, coachings, all of that. Um, but I'm not really used to performing live anymore, which isn't great because I spent four years of undergrad just practicing performing live and then almost a year of my master's performing live and then the world stopped and now I never perform live anymore and it's like what if I lose it like what if I lose all that training that I did for four and a half years and I'm just not good at performing live anymore so um, this will be a nice step back into it. So I had a mock jury with my teacher at our last lesson. My lessons are usually Tuesday mornings at 1030, but um, coincidentally my teacher had to move my lesson this week to Thursday. So I'm very glad about that because I wouldn't have really wanted to have a lesson in the morning of my jury just because they really tire me out. And she might ask me to do something like a little differently. And then with less than 24 hours, less than 12 hours even before the jury, I 
it might confuse me even more. So, um, I'm just, I'm glad that I don't have, um, a lesson this morning. Oh, the news is here. Woo. Okay. <laughs> everybody's attention spans have gone way down since the pandemic started. Uh, okay. So, um, did a mock jury in my lesson last week, last Tuesday morning, and I got so nervous. I was so sweaty. Like, my hands were all gross, and, like, I felt hyper aware of everything, and that's the most performance anxiety I felt in over a year. And so it was... It was weird dealing with those things again because it's been a while since I've had to deal with those things. So um, I'm going to hope that I don't feel that way tonight. But if I do, I just have to, you know, move past it. Um, it helps being at home. Um, I I'm in an orchestra rep class, and I was in the fall semester too. We had to do like a mock audition um, for a final in the fall. So um, I got kind of nervous for that. Um, at that point, it was probably the most nervous I had been since the pandemic started, and then this is more nervous. So, um, for that, it helped me to think, like, I'm just at home. I'm just playing at home. No one, like, in my actual real-life vicinity is hearing me play. It's all virtual. It's just, it's over a microphone. I'm probably not gonna sound as good over a microphone anyway even though, like, I have really good mics, like, I don't know what the quality is going to be like over the internet. I'm just playing for myself. That's it. You know, I'm the only person physically in this room right now, so that kind of helped me a little bit, just, you know, realizing, like, what my surroundings were. My surroundings weren't anything scary. It wasn't like I'd gone to an audition in, like, a space that I didn't know, and you know, your physical surroundings can make you really uncomfortable, but I, but I was somewhere where I was comfortable, so that helped me a little bit. So I'm going to try to let that help me again tonight. I think there will be four members on my jury, and I work closely with two of them, so that's like, playing for them is like nothing new. Um, now the other two, whatever. It's okay. It's just music. It's not brain surgery. It's okay. <laughs> so yesterday, my hands felt really gross and disgusting and sweaty. And I think it was a nervous system response. Even though I wasn't like mentally nervous, um, I think my body was, you know, just stressed um, from, just, it's been a stressful semester and like, you know, just knowing that my jury is today. Um, <clears throat> but even though I wasn't mentally worried, I feel like my body was physically reacting to it. Um, especially since I'm out of practice for live performing and getting nervous and everything. So, um, yeah, so I asked on Instagram if anyone had any solutions for sweaty hands. I'm a really awesome violist who always has a ton of great insights on like everything in the music world um, responded to my story and said that it is a nervous system response and that um, a lot of people use cornstarch to kind of soak up the sweat on their hands. So I tried that last night. I did it twice in a row because I felt like the first time wasn't thorough enough. Like I, I felt like there was still some leftover. And after the second time, it definitely cut down the sweat. It wasn't, like, a perfect fix or anything. But um, if I feel like my hands are sweaty again before I play today, I'll definitely put some cornstarch on my hands to soak up some of that sweat and oil. Um, but so far today, they're feeling pretty normal. Um, I haven't played yet today. It's 12.53, um, so it's a little late. But uh, my boyfriend could have taken himself to his vaccine appointment. But um, I like to distract myself a bit on days where I have performances like this, just so that I'm not completely like drowning myself in the thought like, oh my God, it's today, it's today, it's today, ah! You know, just getting out, doing normal people things, just which I haven't done in a long time because of the pandemic and because I do everything at home, but um, just going out and doing something normal, even though COVID vaccine in a pandemic is not normal, but nothing is normal right now, but getting out in the real world, getting some Starbucks, which I haven't had in over a year, just, you know, it helps keep my mind off of what's happening, even though I've been talking to you about it for 13 and a half minutes now, so. Also, please don't get political in the comments about the vaccine. Um, I don't know if anyone would since, you know, I'm a small YouTuber, but, um, yes, please, please don't post your vaccine opinions, uh, in the comments. This is not what this video is about. Um, 
we're just trying to do our part to get the pandemic over with so we can perform live again. Um, and that's really not the point of this video. This is just part of my day. So yeah, be nice in the comments, please. All right, I was gonna post a question on Instagram um, asking if anyone wanted to know how I prepare for juries. So let's, let's do that now. I feel like such a millennial right now, vlogging in my car and taking a selfie with my Starbucks. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I did it. Yay, how was it? It was good, I got it. Ah, blur this card. It. Okay, I'll blur. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so excited. It, go? it was good, it was very well organized. So glad. Mm hmm Good. Yeah, I'm super glad it was like a well oiled machine. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Be back in three weeks. Nice. What kind did you get? I got the Pfizer. Nice. Look who I found. Who's this cute guy? Oh, are you napping in my bed? Sweet, sweet little kitty. So sweet. Say hi. He doesn't like the camera. just a little bit I tuned and you you saw it um, <laughs> but my next step is going to be to stretch a little bit warm up my body um, so that everything is feeling good and I can move around and everything so um, that's what I'm gonna do Okay, so now my body feels all nice and warmed up. I feel like I'm standing up really straight and I, I just feel like I have a good range of motion in my muscles and everything. So I'm going to warm up a little more on my instrument, just more of my daily basic warm up. And then um, I might take a small break and then look at the hard spots in my rep. And if it's really loud, <laughs> And if you hear a lot of traffic and a fan, that's because the window is open and I have a fan on because it's in the 70s today and it is warm. So my recital rep has a lot of double stops in it, like every single piece has double stops in it. I'm really getting no break from the double stops. So um, my tendency when I play double stops is to squeeze with my left thumb. So I'm going to work on some sev chick, opus eight, um, to try to practice shifting and release my thumb a little bit because I find that these tend to help me. So uh, let's start with... Number three. That well, sounds good today. And I am, of course, making sure I drink lots of water. I also drank a little bit extra water yesterday. I Usually all I drink in a day is water, um, typically, but I made sure to really be aware that I was drinking enough water yesterday and also again today so that I, my body can just run a little healthier. <laughs> and it's, you know, I always just feel better when I drink more water anyway. Make sure you drink your water. So I just took um, a short break 
to put on the dress that I just chose to play in um, because it's really, really easy to play in this dress just with the sleeves um, and it's flowy and it's not like super form fitting so I don't feel like constricted or anything. I love playing in this dress. I actually wore this for my um, virtual masters were set up last year. If you want to watch that, it's right up there. Sorry about all the traffic noise. All right, so I'm going to take a few minutes during my break and answer some of the questions that I got on Instagram. So as you saw me post on my story earlier, I asked if you had any questions about how I like to warm up and prepare on days where I have a performance. So one question I got was, do you run through all your repertoire or just selected passages? So the way that you've seen me warm up so far is part of the ideal way that I warm up on a performance day. So I always try to warm up as thoroughly as I can on performance days. So I choose my favorite kind of exercises and scales and such to make sure that I'm like, I'm, I'm in tune with my instrument, not literally in tune, but you know, also, also in tune, literally. Um, so making sure that my body feels comfortable playing my viola that day and that everything is where it should be it all feels good and i will also choose exercises based on what i have to do in my repertoire so for me right now i have a lot of double stops in my repertoire so i did thirds and sixths and i did lots of double stop exercises and i made sure to keep my thumb loose because my tendency is to tighten up my thumb uh, so just doing those kind of basics that's what I really use as my foundation in the day and then I'll go over the hardest spots in my rep. Um, I try not to run things but if I need to do like some tempo things or if I'm with a pianist and they feel like they need to run something then I'll do that once in a while but I tend to just do harder passages and spots that I don't feel quite as comfortable with because there's not much I can change on the performance day. I'm not going to change a fingering, I'm not going to change the way I phrase something unless it's in the moment in my performance, but um, I just want to make sure that everything is nice and comfortable and I'm just ready and comfortable. You know, I'm not worried going into it like, oh, this section is so difficult. I wish I had run through this. I run through those sections, um, but I don't do things that are easier unless it feels really, really good and healthy, but I typically don't like go through the entire repertoire I find that that's when I start to overplay and then my warm-up is better than the performance another question I got was how long do you usually warm up for before you perform so like I said I try to thoroughly warm up and I usually do that a few hours before um right now we're an hour and yeah exactly an hour out from um, my jury so I started about an hour ago and I practiced for about 30 minutes. So for me, that was a nice thorough warm up. For, for anyone else, it could be totally different. So just making sure that I'm nice and comfortable and I feel good playing my instrument that day. Um, and then right before the performance, I'll just touch up some things, make sure you know everything still feels comfortable, but I don't do anything intense. I might It might be like five minutes, but it's kind of sporadic. Um, just as I'm waiting around, I guess. I still need to look at some spots in my rep. Um, I know we're only about an hour out and that's a little sooner than I typically like to do it, but today's been kind of weird um, with going out earlier in the day. I don't know. I, performance days are always weird, so none is exactly like the other, at least so far they haven't been for me. I don't know. I just try to have as normal of a day as I can to... Okay, hold on. Someone else on Instagram, one of my friends from undergrad, said um, she wants to know ways you can combat anxiety pre-performance. So I like to have as normal of a day as I can, and by normal I mean just relaxing, I guess. Um, I try not to do anything too tense or too strenuous. You know, sometimes if you're in like a really busy schedule, you might have rehearsals and things before performance. and. You kind of just have to go through that unless you're able to reschedule them, but it's not always possible. So, you know, take it as easy as you can. Typically the performance is going to be the most important part of your day and those rehearsals aren't going to be as important. So take it easy during those rehearsals. Let people know that you have a big performance coming up that evening or whatever it may be um, so that you're able to, you know, not overwork yourself or not get too tense. Um, otherwise, for anxiety pre-performance... I don't know, I try to just 
kind of focus on myself and how I feel and if I don't feel good I try to do something to combat that so if you feel like you can't take a full breath um, do some breathing exercises and I am definitely going to be doing that right before my jury starts um, because I felt like I couldn't take a full breath when I did that mock jury last week so I'm going to try to breathe as deeply as I can so that I have full lung capacity <laughs> during my actual performance um, and just what kind of car is that? That's... It's a tricycle. It had three wheels. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, yes. Um, if you're feeling really good, then keep riding that wave. Um, if not, if you're really nervous, nervous energy and excited energy are really, really similar. So if you're feeling nervous, you can try telling yourself that you're excited. Think about parts of the music that you're really excited to play or that you really really love and just get excited for that channel that nervous energy into more excited energy and that can help help save you mentally and make you a little more positive rather than negative another question that i got was um do you usually have anything specific you like to do backstage so i try not to hold my instrument too much um if i hold it in my left hand here i'll show you how i hold it I tend to hold my instrument like this and when I do that I feel like I really really tense up my left hand because I tend to squeeze it and if I'm nervous I'm like doing all this so I try to either hold it like this so that my left hand is free and I usually kind of shake my hands out a lot just to keep them nice and loose because like I've said a lot today my tendency is to squeeze my thumb and my left hand in general <laughs> so anytime that I can not hold something with my left hand i do that um sometimes i'll just finger through some scales or play like some open strings or play a double stop passage really really slowly um just to get a good feeling but otherwise there's not much that i do other than i keep breathing um and kind of those anti-anxiety methods that i talked about in the last question that's kind of what i do backstage i try not to play too much but I try to make sure that my body is in playing mode. Um, so if you play a different instrument and your hands get tense, try holding your instrument in a hand that doesn't get tense or sitting your instrument in a case somewhere while you're backstage, um, somewhere that, where it's safe or for me, like holding it under my arm and then I can have my bow like this and my hand is not tense at all. So this is kind of what I tend to do backstage so that I'm not gripping it and getting super tense right before I play and right before I get nervous or more nervous than I might be backstage. It's 3.54 now, so I have less than an hour. So I'm just going to play a few hard spots and make sure it all feels comfortable. Then I'm going to maybe get a snack. I am getting a little hungry. All I've had today are my was my breakfast and my Starbucks and a chicken nugget. Because Harry made an extra one. <laughs> so I haven't had too much today, but I also haven't been hungry. But also, like, I had a big breakfast. So on performance days, I do tend to eat more the beginning of the day than less than less. And then after my performance, I eat more. Um, just because I don't like eating right before. But I want to make sure that I have enough food in my body. And I've heard that a lot of performers do that kind of thing. Where they have a big breakfast, then like a medium-sized lunch, then a small dinner, and then they perform. Um, just so that you're getting all of the food that your body needs, but it's not right before you perform. Um, so that's that's kind of the thing that I typically do in that area. Okay, now I'm gonna play through my rep. <laughs> Good. Okay, most of this is feeling really good, and I find that that is usually the case when I warm up really thoroughly on performance days, and I just have that good, strong, like, viola basis. My body, you know, is going to do what it's going to do on the rep, but making sure I have that nice, strong technique foundation, that, that helps me with all my pieces. 
Okay, so I am all set up for my jury. Here's my stand and my music. I'm going to put my AirPods in for the to hear everyone else. Here's my laptop set up. Got my webcam up there. Fancy mics all set up. And I'm going to have camera on the tripod right here so that you can see what's going on in my jury. And my viola is right here. Yay. So all I have left to do now is to do any last warming up and some breathing just to make sure that I am taking deep breaths. It's 4.43 so I kept thinking my jury is at 4.45 but it's at 4.55. Um, so I have a little over 10 minutes, but I'll probably get in the Zoom room a few minutes before, just in case they're running early, they can let me in whenever. So now you can see what I do when I'm just waiting to start. So I have 10 minutes. I think I'm just gonna play like some scales just so that, you know, I'm in playing mode. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna breathe for a little bit. Um, I don't remember what this breath is called, but um, you breathe in for however many counts, so I'll start with four, and then you breathe out for that count plus one. <clears throat> so in for four, out for five, and then I do it in for five, out for six, and just keep increasing it until my breathing is slowing down. <laughs> this fan is still going. I oh no. Okay. <laughs> we'll see if that one turns it off. I'm terrible with pants. Okay. I was at eight. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Just shaking out some tension. <laughs> I'm also trying to feel really, really grounded and centered in gravity in my body because that always helps you play better. <laughs> oh, my hands feel like rubber. Okay. All right. 4.52, so just another minute or two. Then I'm gonna join the meeting. I'll see you there. <laughs> okay, I have my music set up and everything. The fan is still on, but it's slow, so I don't think it'll affect me. Um, it is kind of hot in here, so I don't want to sweat too much. I am going to turn the humidifier off because it's pretty loud. There we go. That's off. It's 4.53, so I'm going to pull up the zoom information, but not go in quite yet. Oh, it's 4.54 now. I said I wanted to get in there a minute early just in case they're, you know, ahead of schedule and just so I look good. All right. My hair looks good. I have my music set up. My pedal works. And I have a whole set list on four scores, so it's all good. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna open the Zoom meeting now. Um, my hands are getting sweatier. I'm going to keep breathing, and I'm going to find my center of gravity and make sure everything just feels good. And if I become hyper focused, hyper aware of everything that I'm doing as I'm playing, I'm going to try to focus, like channel that energy um, into getting my musical message across rather than on the technique, which is my default. So. I got this. I'm done, I'm done, and I'm really, really sweaty. <laughs> oh, gross.
gross. I'm so sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's pretty good. Another question I got on my Instagram was, how do you deal with the waiting period between your jury and finding out the grades? Because, you know, it can be a few hours, it can be a day even. Um, so what I like to do is I like to take a few minutes after my jury, just analyze how it went. Was I happy with it? Was I unhappy with it? Was there something I really liked? Was there something that I really didn't like? Was there something that I would change for next time? So that, um, just, you know, to get everything organized in my head and so that I can potentially make the next one even better, even though this is my last jury ever. <sighs> so glad about that. Um, but, you know, just analyze it for a few minutes, not, not all day, just a few minutes, and then I'm done thinking about it and I distract myself with something fun. Um, in the before times, that would be like going out to eat or something, just something to get my mind off of it and have fun with my friends or something now. Um, I'm going to be eating dinner soon. Yeah, so I'll distract myself with something fun and then in undergrad, we would have our jury and then once everyone was done with their jury, there would be like a little time where everyone had to finalize everything and then our teachers would put up our forms on their door and we'd just come and collect them and then you could find out, you know, how everyone graded what your performance, your, how everyone graded what you performed. Oh, yes, I passed. I just got the email that I passed. Okay. So, <laughs> so um, now I don't have to think about it anymore because I already found out. So my waiting period was not long today. It was 15 minutes and that's it. So um, yeah, distraction is what I do and there's no use dwelling on it because you can't change how you performed or what they thought of you in the performance. So just let it go. It happened. Just move on with your day. That's, that's what I like to do. It's so beautiful outside. So um, I got another Instagram question just now asking how to relieve stress and I feel like I've kind of answered that through this whole vlog <laughs> but um, really just finding ways that you can relieve stress um, just kind of in an everyday way whether that's like reading, reading books or watching a TV show or listening to some kind of music that is stress relieving for you so that you can do those things on kind of on a performance day so like listening to music that is not related to what I'm performing but calms me down that that always helps me I'm always listening to just music that I enjoy that can kind of get me out of thinking about the performance obsessively again like the best thing for me is just to keep a normal routine and to act like it's any other day and then I'm way less nervous than I would be if I were to hype it up all day and think like performances today today's performance day ah like just treating it like any other day but being sure that you're really taking care of yourself and warming up really well like i think that those are the best options for that harry and i are going to have a rehearsal together we're playing in a competition on sunday i felt like we were really ready for it a few days ago but the last few days i focused on getting ready for my jury so we need to get back into focusing for the competition instead since I passed my jury. Sorry, I'm not gonna stop talking about it. I'm, it's no surprise that I passed, but like, I passed. So I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. All right, Harry and I had a good rehearsal and it's almost 9 p.m. now. We usually have a class on Tuesday nights from 7.30 to 10, but it was canceled this week. So my jury was really the only thing I had today, luckily enough, because everything else was canceled. So really, really good, like optimal performance day. So I'm just going to relax the rest of the evening. So I'm going to cut the vlog off here. I hope you enjoyed following me around on my recital jury day. <sighs> 
it's Animal Crossing time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope some of my tips were helpful for you. Um, if what I did today does not work for you and you know that, leave a comment down below sharing what does work for you because it could definitely help someone else. What I did today definitely works for me, so good for me, but you know, if something completely different works for you, please share it below so we can help others perform even better. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, um, and subscribe for more musical content every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.